everyone, over here, we're back, and today we're going to be talking about Nikocado Avocado, and I know, I know, hold your excitement, I know you can barely wait to hear what he has to say and the food that he's eating, because that's all anybody ever wants, right? So calm your excitement, I know, I get it, I feel the exact same way, obviously. Um, so I was looking at his channel, which by the way, he has four channels, I guess, now, which is, so I was looking at his channels, <laughs> and I saw this video, Tati is a liar, proof. So that caught my attention, because I'm like, well, what proof does Nick have? So that's interesting. And also, it is a lot of food in the thumbnail, no matter what, it's what he does, but it isn't as much as he normally is eating, and it doesn't look like he's crying or red-faced with anger, so I was like, maybe this is something that we can actually handle. And I'm sorry if it's disappointing you that he's not going to be, he might still cry and get angry and have more food in this video, who knows? <laughs> With Nick, you never know what you're going to get until you're already there and confused on where you are. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started. Hi everyone, I don't know honestly where this is going to go, I don't know if this is going to go on my second channel, my third channel, my new channel, my main channel, Noodle King, well actually not Noodle King because I'm talking hi, I'm back home, should we do? Okay, so I have some three packs of instant ramen noodles and got some cheese. That is like such a small amount of food for him though, which is like so incredibly sad to say, because one package of instant ramen is technically two servings, so that is six servings of ramen, which is a lot and a lot of salt. Up in here, ooh, and we'll kind of let it melt a little bit. And then bit. adding cheese, which cheese has salt. And by the way, I didn't even know that people, that putting cheese on ramen was a thing until like, and I'm clearly uncultured and dumb. Um, but it's, it's actually a very big thing. I've never had it. I've always just gone to like Japanese restaurants and I don't think they typically put cheese on any of their ramens, and if it, I did saw, see it, I was probably like, ew. <laughs> I don't know, it just sounded weird to me, but I don't know. It, is it good? Have you guys tried it? Does it help? Does it make it creamier? What is? What does it do? This is spicy, but it's the Rebulky noodle. I'm supposed to make it with Rebulky. So thank you for being here. I'm so excited to eat these noodles. And today, I actually just got done filming my um, Tati Westbrook video, Why I Don't Believe Her. And looking back, I'm... So Okay, so he recorded this video, Why I Don't Believe Tati, on June 30th, and the one that we're watching now is from July 1st. So this is his thoughts after his thoughts, like the show after the show. So glad I made the video. I stand by everything I said. And the more I think about it, the more disgusted I am by her. I can't stand people like her who are manipulative. With They weaponize the whole, we, we. We've seen it all throughout life, and I just thought of something. Did he just call Tati disgusting? Wow, this like reminds me of like when we were watching Trisha and Trisha was calling Gabby delusional. It's like, <laughs> look in a mirror, people. <laughs> but it says a lot. Like, I mean, I, it says a lot when Nick is calling somebody disgusting, I feel. I mean, she is not disgusting. I don't think Tati is disgusting at all. <laughs> There, I'm letting this cool down. You can see the steam coming. She said, oh, I'm so sorry, Dad. I promised I wouldn't show my tears. I'm so sorry you have to watch me cry. <laughs> then edit it out. And she not she didn't just bring it up once. She didn't just bring it up two times. So somebody who sits on camera and eats and cries for a living is telling somebody else that they're disgusting and to not cry on camera? Wow. I didn't know this video would go this way. This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> she brought it up three times. I'm so sorry, Dad. You have to see me cry. Acting like this poor little, you know, this this vulnerable, weak, impressionable, poor victim. Like, that's what it's... I will agree with that. I did get that vibe from Tati's video, personally. Like, poor, vulnerable little thing. It kind of reminds me... I know I keep pausing it. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know you guys are like, you don't need to apologize, and now I'm going too far. Anyways, it reminds me of, like, what I said when um, I said that Shane portrays himself as, like, this poor person when he's not. It's like, he's like, I'm still poor and relatable, even though I have millions of dollars. And it was kind of like, Tati's like, I'm just, like, I'm just a shy, like, 
little girl. Like, that, that's kind of the, the vibe that I got also. It's like, she's like this shy, weak girl. And it's like, you are a, you know, I, I know age doesn't necessarily matter maturity, but it should. You know, you're almost 40 years old. You're a businesswoman. You own your own business. You own your own company. Like, it's, it's, you are not that weak. Just take responsibility. We see through that. Poor my daddy has to see me cry. We'll edit it out then. She wanted people to see her cry. That's why she mentioned it. Not once, not twice, three times. She reiterated three times. What attorney? Watch this. Remember she had an attorney go through this? Be as she lied. That's a liar right there. That is a lie manipulative person. I would disagree with that part. I, I believe she definitely had a, like, a lawyer look over to make sure she wasn't, like, putting any personal information out. If she cries on camera, she cries on camera. That's not, like, no one can, like, sue for, like, crying. <laughs> I've dealt with people like that before. They're disgusting. Oh no, no attorney would want that. They'd say edit that out. She edited out lots of other stuff. There's lots of other cuts and jumps. Edit that out too. If you get a little emotional, let it come out, wipe your tears and keep going. Get to the point. Remember the whole first 15 minutes was fluff. A waste of people's time. Fluff, fluff. I mean, ew, I'm disgusted by her now. I Coming from a guy who, again, using the word disgusting, I don't know if that's really the best word you should be using, Nick, but he's saying, like, the first 15 minutes of her 40-minute video, yeah, like, was there a lot of things she easily could have cut out? Of course, there's always that. But Nick is known for having, like, 40-minute, hour-long, like, you know, at least 30-minute videos of him crying and eating. And so for him to say, like, somebody needs to, like, cut stuff out, the hypocrisy is just growing and growing and growing. <laughs> he really needs a mirror behind him because I, I, don't, I doubt he's ever seen himself. He really needs to look at, the, at, at a mirror. And because I really feel for James, I've had people imply or insinuate that I have, you know, personality traits that found of certain types of P words. <clears throat> and it's disgusting to, 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 to weaponize that for your own selfish reasons. I mean, that's disgusting. An entire movement and, boo, you know, it's gross. And people, people get, people will fall for it, but then as time goes on, people look back and be like, oh no, that was really uncomfortable. That was just so over the top and unnecessary. And then it makes you be like, well, if that's what they're willing to do, what else are they willing to do? You know what I mean? And people fell for Taddy's video the first time, they're not falling for it the second time. People are not gonna fall for it the second time. You can't pull that stunt over and over. Some people get away with it one time, she got away with it the first time, kind of. Uh, no, I mean, again, if somebody comes out and, you know, everybody knew that Tati and James knew each other, we had no reason to not believe her. She made a 40 minute video exposing James basically and you know the internet is going it's just what they do they hear one thing and a lot of people don't think to look at the other side they they are so quick to jump and it's it's just it's sad and I think I think it, it really should be a lesson definitely for the future of YouTube is to like wait until you hear all sides which I think Tati said in her video but it's like I, she kind of started all of that. I know she didn't intend. She didn't send everybody out, but she had to be aware that by making these claims about James, people aren't going to like that. But people have time to really take a step back and be like, this lady is 40. This guy was a teenager. The whole relationship is weird to begin with. And um, she didn't take accountability. She didn't say sorry. She didn't even start crying about the thought that James would, you know, take his... <clears throat> You know, maybe jump off that building or something. Like, no tears came out about then. She only cared about her brand suffering. My brand, I put all this work into it. Oh, my dad, you have to see me cry. And then she looks at the camera, so you make, she made the manipulative, disgusting. Click the link down below and book me on Cameo, where I'm going to make a special video just for you. No, thank I'm you. furious now. The more I think about it, I posted my video today. This is in real time. I posted my video today, and, um, ooh, this looks really good. I made all of it. And I'm just thinking about, I forgot to add that. That's a, that's an occurrence I had. I was like, she kept saying, I'm so sorry you have to see me cry. Then edit it out. She wanted people to see her cry because she's weaponizing this so that you sympathize with her. She's oh, yeah. It, if you cry on camera, I mean, not everybody is going to fall for it, but 
a lot of people will feel sorry for seeing somebody cry. It just is how it is. And I do think that Tati is a, you know, a sensitive person for sure. Um, because I think she cried in the first one. I don't know. I feel like, God, it's like we're talking about stuff from like a year ago in current time. It's just, it's weird times right now. And eyes in her tears. That's manipulative. And that's how men are sometimes destroyed. Men's careers are destroyed by women. Um, again, be, be, before people be like, oh, you're discrediting always. No, no, no. What I'm saying is don't put on a show for YouTube or for Twitter. You, like Justin Bieber, these people came out against Justin. You go to the police and you handle it in a court legal setting. And you do it properly because that's serious. You don't let people's... You just dodo brains and mindless little lost souls on the internet, ooh, looking for people to follow, determine what kind of crime you may or may not have committed. That's, it's just that's a fair argument, though, is that if she believed that James, you know, was more, can't say it on YouTube, <laughs> but you guys know, um, that's the thing that I don't understand. It's all these people have all this stuff of, like, what may or may not be, even if you don't think they are, like, or you don't have, like, full proof or something, like, you know, it is such a serious crime, seriously, like, it's like, if you just even think a child could be hurt, you have to go and help that child, another person, if they're, you know, whatever, like, you have to, you know, they might not speak up, but somebody else will for them, and that could save their life. That's all, like, I don't know, bring it to YouTube, it's just, ugh, yeah, it's it, it was wrong, it was definitely the wrong, wrong way to go about it, and I don't think anybody ever could have imagined how it would have turned into, um, but yeah, I, I think that it, it it's probably, if anything, a lesson, hopefully, for a lot of people, like, look at both sides, but also, like, instead of, like, just being like, hey, we hate you, be like, hey, Telling the person, like, hey, why don't you go to the police with this information? If this is so serious and you are making this claim, because that is a huge claim to make against somebody, you, you should have the facts before you just say things. Fascinating. Ew. The women will weaponize that sometimes. It's so gross. I've had it happen to me. And they know exactly, you know, do you think Toddy doesn't know what she's doing? I'm so sorry you have to see me cry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I promise I won't cry. Then edit that part out. If you're really that concerned, you want to make a statement. You want to make an effect. You are emphasizing that not once, not twice. I guess because Nick uses crying as a weapon to get views and attention. So... You know, I, I guess he's more like, I see through that. <laughs> Times. Who the hell does that? People like you do. I hope. That's gross. And you know what? I I know Shane may have told her stuff. I know uh, Jeffree Star may have told her stuff. And she, wore, she waited till a whole year. She waited for the moment that they were not popular anymore to be like, ah, let's throw this on top. Yeah, it is kind of interesting that she waited a whole year right after all this stuff was coming out about Shane and Jeffrey, and then she makes her apology video a year later. Like, why didn't you do it when you and James made up? Why didn't you do it back in December? Like, she said, like, oh, we made up back in December. And I don't know. It just, you don't even have to, like, a year? Just, uh, I know, the timing, weird, weird, I agree. Uh, I'm agreeing with Nick, oh, weird. Uh. <laughs> She's gross. She's actually gross. <laughs> yes, seriously. And people, it'll backfire. It'll backfire. You know, James Charles is thriving. If I was James, I'd be going to the police and getting this woman sued. That's for sure. Defamation. I hope James goes after her. That's not a friend. That's not a freaking friend. BS. BS my BS my butt. That's not a friend. She didn't even she didn't even have any emotion for what he went through. It was all about me, 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 me. The the video should have been called me, 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 me. That should have been the title of the dang video. Me, 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 me. She even feels she didn't feel bad for him. Like she mentioned it once, James, here's my public. I, I do think that she and James have made up and they want to, well, I'd say they want to move past this, but at this point, like, was making the video even, like, worth it for her? Like, did it really, like, help? Did it, 
improve anything? In, in my opinion, I don't think it did. Apology. But also, let's keep talking about how I was made to do this. And she literally is bringing up another rumor, perpetuating another serious rumor. For what? What business? What do you gain out of that? For what business do you have even saying something like that because you heard something? This woman doesn't learn from her mistakes. I'm actually angry now. I'm, 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 I'm sad for James. I'm angry that people like this do this to people. <sighs> it makes me so angry. I've seen you actually, like, well, it's his fake anger in videos, but, like, when he's being serious, like, He's not, like, the worst person. Like, I don't think he's a bad person. He just does crazy things for money and views because, you know, we live in wonderful, weird, crazy YouTube time. And that they, they, they weaponize the internet and these lost souls who just follow any, anything they believe on the internet. Oh, these people who are glued to Twitter. They just use them as pawns so that they can like them, buy their merch. You know, they, they make money off of doing these stunts. That's the sick part. This is like to make money. That's the point of this. Take out money, none of these people would be even talking to each other. I guarantee. If you take money out, they're not talking to each other. <laughs> they have something to gain by using each other. Which is fine. That's how business goes. But own up to it. Own it. Oh, I'm so angry. Ugh, I feel disgusting now. Now I'm just having her in my head. Oh, my dad. I'm so sorry, daddy. You have to watch me cry. You're disgusting. Every time he says the word disgusting, I can't help but laugh. And I, I assume he's going to eat all the noodles, but God, this is the most, like, the, this is not the word that I should be using, but I'm going to use it. The most, like, polite professional <laughs> mukbang I've seen. Like, you know, he just, well, he just played with his noodles for, like, the first seven minutes and then he put it in a bowl and, you know, he's about to drink some water. Like, it's it's just, like, this is the kind of, like, mukbang style that I, I see why people enjoy it in the way of like a like a conversation sort of thing not just like people who just like eat just to like make a scene so then don't put it on the computer like is this rocket science don't put it on the computer then you did it on purpose to make an effect and to emotionally sway people, to swoon them to your side. So they can buy more of your gummy bears and buy more of your merch and your launch and your business and da 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 Because yes, Team Taddy, she's fighting the good cause. She call her Taddy? Tatty? Isn't it Tati? It's definitely Tati, not Tati. I mean, I guess people say like Nikocado or Nikocado. Nobody knows what it is. That's disgusting. This is what politicians do. This is what politicians do. All right, let's have my first bite. I'm done being angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm done being angry. Next sentence. I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, Nick. <laughs> so angry. <sighs> Can you not even eat? I think it's because I personally relate to this. Not to this extent, but similarly, I mean, not to this extent, but similarly, in a similar way. <clears throat> and that's the part I don't like. <laughs> but what did mm. I expect? Mm. Oh, that bowl was just his first bite. Oh, I was like, oh, that's like probably about as much as I would have in like a sitting. Uh, what the hell? Did I really like project how I am onto Nick? Like as if that's how this was going to go. God, I need to get off YouTube. <laughs> I think could be seen as dangerous too. Ooh, Ooh it's a little spicier than I remember. Hmm. I think they could be seen as dangerous. Uh, it could also be the fact that you just in hailed that in like a second could be could be a part of that look at the way she speaks it's very like hi i'm a gentle angel i'm a creature not oh, a creature 
I am a gentle angel. I'm all about peace and empathy and I, I pray, I give to charity, I love God. Yep. <clears throat> Dangerous. And she cleverly started that video by saying, people are so swayed on the internet, they're easily convinced. Don't believe them, let you think for yourself. Meanwhile, she's trying to convince them not to think for themselves and to believe her. Oh my God. Oh, look at Nick's thinking things through. I mean, he's been on YouTube for so long and has been in his fair share of like controversies with Trisha and other people, but like that, that was very accurate. Oh, I want to crack something too on my video that I just posted. Oh, so I, this is not going to go on. Well, I don't know what channel this is going to go on. I just posted on More Nick Okado, uh, Why I Don't Believe Tidy. I mentioned my parents grew up in the 70s and 80s. No, my parents did not grow up in the 80s. My parents are not 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, if you're born in 1980, you're like 35 right now. No, no, no. <laughs> I meant to say like... Oh, I grew up in, so I took that as like, you know, they were like kids in the 70s or 80s. And that could be... Yeah, I, I, that's how I took it, but I guess people could take that as like they were born in, but that's not what he said. So, I don't know. Why am I talking about this? <laughs> He's in the 60s, I think. I'm telling you, the, the, the people on the internet, and it's not just girls. I know it seems like it's a lot of girls, but it could be anybody. I want to say the people who come across as the sweetest and the holiest and the purest, squeaky, squeaky, fluffy, Little princesses, they're usually, or princes, they're usually the opposite. Usually. I was just saying that with Shane, like, he always portrayed himself as, like, this, like, humble, poor, like, I just want to help everyone person. And, I mean, I'm not saying that he can't change and be that, but then, like, the second that things started to, you know, break down in his world, and, I mean, I guess anybody could have a breakdown when everything around you starts breaking, but... Yeah, it's, 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 you know, people put an act on YouTube, clearly. Like, not everybody, obviously. But the main people that most, that are the biggest are the ones who, it's all an act. It's all it is. And there's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's why I really respect people who are themselves, even when they're flawed and messy. Uh, the creators on YouTube, um, I actually respect that in a way. Well, that is that what you're saying? Because that's what you do. So you respect people who are like you, you know. But I it, clearly, it's an act. So he's that's what he's saying. I mean, he's flawed and messy, but like it's. I believe it's an act. I mean, I guess in a way, it has to be based on some reality now. Um, but yeah, I guess yeah. I'd rather have someone who is a little more, um, you know, gritty, real. Like I think that's why a lot of people have been like. You know, over time, they really like the smaller YouTube channels because they're coming, you know, as a new face and, and they're, they haven't gotten that, like, you know, YouTube big head about them. So it's like you're watching a real person because the people who are the biggest seem to be the fakest. I remember one of my cousins. He was really... So I grew up in the 90s and Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears were, like, the top queens, right? And they kind of had this feud. I don't know if it was real or instigated by the media or kind of embellished because those people like to have an enemy in this world. And uh, anyways, <clears throat> I remember I was like, oh, Britney Spears, she's da da da. And my cousin's like, yeah, but Christina Aguilera is what you see is what you get type of girl. She's not like, oh, I'm so innocent. Oops, I'm innocent. I'm so cute. Oops, I did it again. Sorry. <laughs> uh... I'm sorry. You know, Christina Aguilera is like, I'm a real, I can't want to curse right now. I'm a real beep beep. <laughs> I am what I am. What you see is what you get. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If you don't like it, the tough luck. I have tattoos and piercings and black hair. And she had like black hair. Does Christina Aguilera like, have tattoos? I don't know. I'm going to fact check that. She does have tattoos. They are just a couple, a couple small ones. Something. Nothing crazy, nothing too in your face, but I guess maybe like in the 90s for a pop star that was that was different and weird, even though now like pretty much every pop star has tattoos. 
My cousin, I remember, he admired Christina Aguilera more for her rawness over Britney Spears' fluffiness. That was very manufactured by the media, which was her which was her style. And I don't know if that's necessarily Britney's fault. I mean, the more you learn about Britney Spears, the more you realize or learn that she's perhaps been controlled by the people around her throughout her life. Also, is, the music industry is just... Whew, it is... Yeah, <laughs> it is a dark industry. That's sad. So it's not Britney's fault, I don't think. And also, a brand is a brand. It doesn't mean it's just a selling point. It's a way to make money. How do you how do you portray yourself? How are you gonna sell your album? Are you gonna be a raw, uh, real raunchy little thing, or are you gonna be this cute, innocent little thing? Oop! Look up my skirt. Ooh, you know, <laughs> you know the whole that stuff sells. Unfortunately, when they say rock and roll. But, um, I just thought of that, actually. Because he really appreciated my cousin. The realness of Christina Aguilera. And, uh, it's funny, when I was a kid, I didn't really like that. Now, I like that. Oh, yeah, but also, I would say, you know, in the 90s, like, they pumped out Britney. Like, you saw Britney everywhere, was Britney everything. And Christina was big, but they didn't do that as much with her. So it's like, there was so much more Britney in front of us, so we had more opportunities to you know, see her, hear her, like her, than we did Christina Aguilera. Just, you know, if you see more of someone, it's like with YouTube, like when they promote, uh, not promote, but um, uh, trend certain videos, it's always the biggest YouTubers. It always is. And they claim like, oh, that's not our fault. I don't know why that keeps happening. Like YouTube doesn't, you know who really doesn't take accountability? YouTube. YouTube never takes accountability. There is people recently on Twitter who they're like, my whole channel is demonetized. Like, what is happening? What is going on? And, like, it only took, like, you know, the bigger YouTubers reaching out for these people. And YouTube would be like, oh, it was a glitch. What? A glitch? Okay. And then they, you know, they trended Shane's video and, and they trended Jenna's video. And I'm not saying that's bad, but it's like, anytime you look at the trending page, it's always the same people. Always. They... How are smaller channels supposed to grow and get their name out there when they are always being outshined by these bigger people? I'm not saying, these, you know, because I love some of the bigger channels, but give others a fair chance. Like, this is a very hard platform to grow and, and get your name out there, and YouTube is not helping. They don't care, and then anytime anything bad happens, they're like, oh, oops, glitch. What a great excuse, YouTube down the list of the things that I didn't like about her video. And they're just gonna see me being angry out of nowhere. <laughs> you guys know, I'm not just being angry. She's the one angry out of nowhere. Posting stuff like this out of nowhere. No, she, this is definitely not out of nowhere. Like this whole thing, all because it was like, I don't know where it started that like Jeffrey and Shane and more of a play in all of this but i believe it was maybe like it could have been back in may and then throughout june it got more and more and more and more and more and then the end of june is when everything just exploded okay my video is already getting long because i you know talk a lot um, i'm just going to kind of like fast forward through this and see if he starts to get like if he speaks about anything else or if he gets to this proof uh he speaks of about tati being a liar because i don't know what proof he has besides him just speaking <laughs> so if there's anything interesting we'll watch that that's so strong you know especially the rumors and the things that people called him because of Taddy. how dare her sit how dare she sit there and be like well i did actually call him the p word that was actually jeffrey i just talked about his behavior that ma made it sound like he was one she she did you know it's that it's that like vague book thing like i'm gonna just kind of mention it say that i don't really want to talk about it but kind of talk about it but don't ask about it it's like oh god i hate that f you you think that makes a difference in people's heads especially the kids you think the teenagers really care if you say it or not you're describing it f you oh she disgusts me <laughs> just has this big mound of grease all over him on him i can only assume and in him i oh over something she heard 
It's just disgusting. Disgusting. And people people get it now because they've had a whole year to really think about it. They've had a My whole thing is that if she, yeah, if she heard it and instead of going to the police or going to someone, she took to YouTube. Definitely the wrong thing. And I kind of in a way wish I can't remember if she did. I I know she like her video is very like she very careful, I guess, which was probably for the best because the first one was not very careful. Um, I do wish that she had apologized for... I, I know she apologized to James, I guess, for making that video. But like, she didn't really say, like, I'm sorry I even made that video. Which I think would have... She, she does mean it, but it's also like we have to, like, interpret what her words mean through other words. Because she doesn't actually say what she should be saying. Um, but I'm going to end this he's I, he's just repeating himself which you know the funny thing is that beginning he's like oh it's all fluff 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 it's like you're just repeating yourself and i can only assume he's just repeating himself from the hour-long video we made on his other channel but he did make some good points and this was not a terrible mukbang to get through i may you know cut out some of the parts of him eating in this video just for your guys's, you know, eyes, I, I don't want to scar you today. Um, today, by the way, is July 4th, so happy July 4th to all of us in America. Hope you guys are being safe, and if you're doing something fun, let me know. I want to know what you guys are doing. I am doing nothing. <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm sitting here watching Nick Nikocado eat. That is how I am spending my 4th of July. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk all things Nikocado and tell me what you're doing for 4th of July if you live in America. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye!